go. Hey guys, it's Musa the Best, and why I am it's seven oh nine, and it's seven oh nine in the in in the state of New York, and it's Halloween. In case you don't know. Anyway, today I decided to do something. Though. I decided to do a Halloween special. So anyway, so anyway, what I am gonna do is play some scary games. And what game is scarier than ghoul than, than ghosts and goblins and ghouls and ghosts? <sighs> okay, my body's ready. Oh, man. This is Ghost and Goblins, and Jesus Christ is this game hard. This game will kick your butt. And I am serious there. One thing, you can only get hit, you can only get hit, you can only afford to get hit once. Anyway, getting hit once, will, will, you will lose your. See, anyway, getting hit once, you lose you you lose your armor. Getting hit twice, you lose your skin. In this game, if you want to beat this game, go. If you want to beat this game, go ahead. You're the one who has to go through the torture of it. I mean, seriously. Hardest game, this game hard as crap. Anyway, this is Sir Arthur, and I died again. Like once I get a game over. Dun, 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 dun. Don't think I suck at this game. Get it? Get dying in this game is pretty much inevitable. Inevitable. You're going to die in this game, especially on your first try. You will die a lot. And there goes. Yeah, and those are the, and those are the infinitely respawning zombies. And that's a game over. If it's one thing this game gets right, it's infinite continues. But the game is too hard, so... If the game is so freaking hard, that won't even matter by the time you beat it. Anyway, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna attempt this one more time. That's Satan, by the way. By the way, I'm just gonna attempt this one more time and then move on to the next game. But what a better time to play this than Halloween. This is the flame weapon. Anyway, these zombies are infinitely respawning, so. Oh yeah, this game has bad controls too. Like, what do you expect? Ha this game has a track record of being hard, so... It can so yeah, one of the reasons is the controls. For one thing, look. This guy jumps. Badly. You can't change his direction in midair, no. Oh, the knife. 
In fact, in, instead of changing his direction in midair, he he just changed the direction. Instead of changing the direction in midair, he he just looks the other way when he's falling. Not the same thing, by the way. Anyway, the knife. If only it was an 8-bit. Anyway, the knife is an awesome weapon because it's the only weapon you should want in this game. In fact, this is this is my priorities on being this game. This is what I expect you to do if you want to beat this game. Step one, get the knife. Step two, keep the knife. Step three, step step one, get the knife. Step two, keep the knife. And step three, don't freak out. Yeah, and that's it. Yeah, my priorities, my priori my priorities are being this game. Step one, get the knife. Step two, keep the knife. Step four, and step three, don't freak out every time you die, because that is what this game is going to make you do. This game will test your patience. Anyway, I'm gonna go on to Ghosts and Goblins. No, no, Ghouls and Ghosts. Super Ghouls and Ghosts, by the way. Capcom. If you thought Mega Man was hard, you haven't seen Ghosts and Goblins. Anyway, this is Ghouls and Ghosts. Super Ghouls and Ghosts to be exact. And it was released on the Super Nintendo. While its counterpart, the no the Ghouls and the Ghouls and Ghosts was released on the Sega Genesis. So you may ask, what's the what's the difference between Super Ghouls and Ghosts and Ghouls and Ghosts? Um, nothing really. What in? Oh wait. Anyway, I'm good. Option mode. The good thing about this game is that there are three levels: beginner, normal, and expert. And professional. There are four levels, in fact: beginner, normal, normal, expert, and professional. I'm gonna feel hardcore and go on professional. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die a lot. And you and you could choose nine players. Okay, you can choose nine. You can choose nine players, nine lives. If you didn't know that, then you have something wrong with you. Game start. Now that's sixteen-bit goodness. What the? Oh, well, that's a dirty. Ha! Jerks? I, n I never played for p professional mode myself, so I didn't know what to expect. But that was just dirty. They had a treasure box. You'd be tempting to open that treasure box. So, what kind of sick. What kind of. But honestly. What kind of sick sadist would do that? I mean, no, somebody actually programmed it. Somebody actually programmed pro Somebody actually programmed this crap. So, so what kind of say so what kind of sick sadist decided to pit an enemy you can't avoid if you open that treasure box? My first time opening the treasure box and I'm saying this. If that if that enemy gets you, you dead. Somebody actually programmed this crap. So honestly, who would do that? Why do that? What if a beginner wanted to be hardcore like me? What if a beginner wanted to be hardcore like me, play on expert mode, and they would be tempting to open that box? Oh yeah, I forgot. In this game, you have a double jump. Anyway, 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 unless you're unless you're death, unless you're death, if you're death, you wouldn't be listening to this. 
Let's hear death. You see that um the music here is a remix from the 8-bit song. Anyway, that's a death. Now, if you think I'm gonna be stupid enough to get that treasure chest, then you gotta be, then you got, then you rock, then you gotta be crazy. Anyway, that's one death. I'm waiting to get that game over. I'm pretty sure it's the enemy. Or oh, it's the knife! That's actually better. And that's a death. I have two lives left. Don't think I suck. It's ghosts and goblins, and it's ghouls and ghosts. Death is inevitable. Is inevitable. Is inevitable. Is, ev is inevitable. Death is what? What killed me? Anyway, death is pretty much inevitable. Ine inevi inevitable. Inevitable. Basically. Uh, you know what? Screw it. I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing this anymore. I can't take it. Ghouls and go go go. Um, yeah, ghouls and ghost madness. Anyway, there's one more game. I, I want I, I want to cross off the list, and it's Castlevania. Why I choose? Why do I choose Castlevania? It has Dracula. <laughs> Come on, Castlevania. My my Konami. It has Dracula in it. I don't I don't find a way I could ignore this game. Anyway, this is Castlevania. Sad. It thought it thought I succeeded something. Anyway, the thing is, I'm actually gonna get farther in this game because while this game is hard, it's not goes and goes. Or ghosts and goblins. 
and and no, 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 and that pork chop disappeared. That pork chop will refill your health. Which is why I wanted it so badly. And that's the knockback. Look. Look how far this this guy just Oh god, seriously. I'm not even I'm not even trying to walk up the steps. I'm not even push I'm not even pushing up. Look, I'm um, come on. No, no knockback is gonna kill me this time. Anyway, this game is more tolerable than Ghost and Goblins, to say at the most. What? I'm not even putting up. You you guys can see. Because you can see the controls on TV. Anyway, it's this back eye. What is happening? I mean, like, really? Ah, uh, just kill me. What is happening here? Why am I getting on the stairs when I don't want to be on the stairs? Anyway, that's it. That's my Halloween special. See you guys, I'm also the best.